Hello, my name is Oliver Gordon. I'm a PhD student in the Computational Science program. I use scientific computing to study the properties of matter at the scale of the atomic nucleus. This is relevant to all kinds of basic and applied science. Today, I'm going to tell you about the application of nuclear physics to the detection of dark matter and tell you about how I've sped up numerical calculations used by scientists who are searching for dark matter by a factor of about a thousand. Dark matter is an incomplete theory explaining the abundance of observed gravitational matter in the universe, which scientists have yet to detect here on Earth. There are a number of existing and planned uh, experiments to try and detect dark matter. The one pictured on the slide here is from the LZ detector, which is located at the Sanford Research Facility. The idea behind direct dark matter detection is simple. You bring together a large amount of very heavy atoms in a pure and isolated environment and then you count up the event rate of nuclear recoils. That is, the rate at which nuclei in the detector are knocked around by un otherwise unseen particles that are unexplained by our current theory. So far, there have not been any confirmed detections of dark matter, but we can still learn something from the lack of observed events. The event rate from these experiments sets limits on how strong the interaction between dark matter particles and nuclear matter could possibly be. The measured event rates are compared to predictions made by competing models of how dark matter might interact with a nucleus. This is where my work in nuclear physics comes into play. In order to compute these event rates, you must first understand the structure and properties of nuclei that are being used in the targets of these detectors. This understanding comes in the form of nuclear wave functions, which one can calculate using our quantum understanding of interacting protons and neutrons. Using my interdisciplinary background in both nuclear physics and computational science, I've taken existing formalism for computing these models of event rates and written a new, much faster code for experimentalists to use. Compared to the existing public code, my new code speeds up event rate calculations by a factor of a thousand. This is mostly due to using a compiled language, efficient ordering of the steps in the algorithm, and the application of parallel computing. My much faster code will enable us to do things that would have been impractical before. For example, the simple heat plot shows event rate calculations for a range of different masses of a dark matter particle. Using the existing code, this would have taken about 70 days to generate. With the new code, it takes only seven minutes. So now we can test a greater range of competing models and target materials with great speed and efficiency. And in future work, we will use this code to explore how the uncertainty originating from the nuclear physics um, propagates into the uncertainty in these event rate calculations. In conclusion, this work will help those searching for dark matter make the most informed decision when it comes to comparing the experimental measurements with theoretical understanding.